Hey, what's going on everyone? Bo HD here. I hope you guys are doing well. Now, Android 6.0 Marshmallow is the latest and the greatest OS from Google. I went ahead and flashed it on my Nexus 9, and this is what it looks like with a clean, fresh installation. Generally speaking, it's pretty much the same experience as Android 6.0 Marshmallow running on a Nexus 6, although there are a few differences and the OS as a whole is of course stretched to fit a much larger display. With that said, on the lock screen, we now have access to Google Now voice commands in the lower left hand corner, which will be handy for fact checking someone at Scrabble. No, Amateur has two E's in it. Amateur. Now the home screen is large and has plenty of space to please the OCD brain. There's a nice sense of balance here with six apps on the bottom, two folders on the left hand side, and a folder and an app on the right hand side. Now the app drawer has changed. You can search for apps up at the top and it scrolls vertically, but only if you have enough apps installed, which I don't. This is a fresh install and these are all of the apps that are pre-installed on the device. Needless to say, there's a lot of Google apps here. Google Now is a swipe to the right from the home screen and it's split into two different columns. It doesn't look bad, but at times when you have stacks on stacks on stacks of cards, one column can become much longer than the other, offsetting the balance. Uh, Google doesn't really equally distribute columns, which hopefully will be fixed in an update, but hey, two columns of information are better than one column of information. Google Now on tap, of course, works with the Nexus 9 just by holding down the home button. No matter where you are, you can hold down the home button, and Google Now on tap will deliver information based off of whatever you are viewing on the display. For example, say you come across a guy named Bernie Sanders, you're like, who's this guy? What's he about? You hold down the home button and Google will spit some information at you. Whether it's a text message or a tweet or an article, Google Now on tap will work to deliver you information based off of whatever you are viewing. It's pretty great. As for the notification panel, well, it drops down from the top like usual. No surprise there, but depending on where you swipe down, it'll drop down at that very point. And the panel itself only well, it takes up about half of the display. Jumping into the settings and we'll see that we have a new section for memory where you can view how much memory is being used overall and how much memory is being used by each app. There's also a section called battery optimization which allows you to view which apps are optimized or not optimized for your device. The optimized apps will save you battery life while the non-optimized apps will drain your battery. It's pretty simple stuff. <laughs> Google hasn't really said what being optimized means but we can assume it has to do with how much data an app uses and how it's running in the background. Another new feature is with permissions. Depending on the app you download, you'll be asked to grant permission for it to use your camera or your flash or your storage, etc., etc. Before Android Marshmallow, app permissions were granted at the point of installation. Now apps will have to ask for your permission whenever they seek access to a certain area of your device. The volume controls are tweaked as well. We can now toggle the volume of alerts or notifications as well as the music playback volume and alarm volume directly from the drop-down menu. The biggest feature that didn't make it into the final build of Android 6.0 Marshmallow was the multi-window support feature. Many generations later and you still can't run two applications at once on the same display, which is a major bummer for tablets. Thankfully, the OS runs buttery smooth so I can switch between applications without any major issues, but this feature would be nice to have and would put a whole new life into my Nexus 9, which otherwise has been sitting in a drawer for the past, I don't know, six months. With that said, how do you like the looks of Android 6.0 Marshmallow running on the Nexus 9? You think it's pretty clean? Let me know your thoughts as always by leaving me a comment down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at BowHD and I'll update you with how some of the background features work, such as the new Doze battery saving feature. I am BowHD though from PhoneDag.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.